Hey YouTube, this is Drew Gotten Tech here to show you how to set up a home WordPress site with Ubuntu server. So why do you wanna do this? Well, maybe you wanna have a blog that you share with the family or even over the internet. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now, just as a disclaimer before we begin, I'm not gonna show you how to buy a domain name because that is really hard to show, if not impossible, without spending money. And I'm not gonna go over setting up port forwarding because that's kind of complicated and I don't have access to my home router settings. And I also won't go over how to set up HTTPS because that's kind of complicated and that's very difficult to show how to set up properly without spending money, if not impossible. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is download the Ubuntu server ISO from this link, which I'll have in the description. And then you're gonna click on the LTS download. Ignore this download. This is just an intermediate version. Go with the LTS download. I suggest staying away from using shorter term intermediate releases and only use long term support versions. But anyway, once this pops up, you're gonna save the file. Now, I've already downloaded this file. I got it right here in my VMware folder. So now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is create a bootable flash drive out of this ISO, which I made a video showing you how to do that so I'll link that up in the card. Now I don't actually have a PC that I'm going to use for the server because I'm doing this just for the purposes of showing you how to set up a home WordPress site. So I'm going to be using a virtual machine to do this but the behavior and everything will be the same. But anyway you're going to turn on your computer and once you see the post screen you're going to hit your boot menu key and then you want to connect your Ubuntu install media. Okay then you're going to select your device that you're going to use to install Ubuntu. And hit enter, and then it'll boot into the Ubuntu installer. You're going to select your language. I'm going to be going with English. And if it prompts you with this, just click update to the new installer, and then it'll go and update to the new installer. But anyway, once you get to this, you're just going to select your keyboard layout and then click done. And it's going to give you an IP address. You should note down this number. But anyway, you're going to click done. And then just hit done. Done. And then you can just leave this as is. And then just make sure everything looks okay. And then hit done. And hit continue. So now this is where you set up your Linux account. Punch in your name. And then you're going to give your server a name. I'm just going to call it YouTube. And then select a username. Now this is where you need to have a good password. If you don't have a strong password, well, that is how you get hacked. Okay, then once you're done with that, you're going to hit done, and then you're going to install OpenSSH server, and then hit done, and then just skip this. Then we'll go ahead and install Ubuntu server. So now this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. And then when it goes and downloads security updates, you're just going to let it do its thing. All right, then once the installation is complete, you're going to hit reboot. And then when it says this, you're going to hit enter, and then it'll boot into Ubuntu server. Okay, and if you ever forget your IP address, all you have to do is log in with your username and password, and then type ifconfig, and then your IP address will probably be at the top one. So you can configure the server from here, but you might want to work on your personal computer instead. Okay, so what you need to do is on your personal computer, you just open up terminal or command prompt, and then type SSH, your username, and this is the username on the server, not your username on your computer. And your server's IP address, and hit enter. And if it prompts you this, you're just gonna type yes, and then type in the password on the server, not on your computer. Hit enter. So the first thing we're gonna do is update the server. So to do that, you're gonna type sudo apt update, and and sudo apt upgrade then hit enter then enter the password on the server then hit enter then once this comes up you're going to hit y and hit enter then we'll go ahead and install any updates that the installer did not install for you Okay, then once the update's done, I'm going to run sudo passwd root. So if you want to know why you should run this, I made a video showing you why, which I'll link up in the card. And you're going to set a root password. I'd recommend that it be so long that the average person cannot remember it. Say you need a good password, and especially so when you're talking about the root account. If you have a weak password, then, well, that's how you get hacked. Okay, then once you're done that, then you're going to run sudo apt install vsftpd. And hit enter, and then hit Y. If you don't run this, then you'll have problems updating WordPress. Okay, and then once you're done that, you're going to have to edit the vsftpd config file. So then you're going to type sudo nano etsy vsftpd.conf, then hit enter, and then you're going to uncomment the red enable equals yes. So just remove the pound symbol, or I'm pretty sure a lot of you will call it a hashtag. And once you've done that, you're just going to hit control X, then hit Y, then hit enter. Now you're going to run sudo. By the way, I'll have all these commands in the description. apt install task 
cell. Then it enter. This installs the package manager that we're going to use to install the packages that we need to configure this as a web server. All right, once you've done that, you're going to run sudo tasks cell install lamp dash server. Now this installs all the packages that we need to run a web server. Like once we run this, it'll start working as a web server immediately. So it's everything except for WordPress, basically. But anyway, we're going to hit enter. Now I'll go ahead and install. And once you're done that, your Ubuntu server should start functioning as a web server. To test it, all you have to do is open up your web browser and then type in your server's IP address, then hit enter. And if it's all good, you should see this screen. And then once you verify that it works, then you're gonna configure MySQL. To do this, you're gonna type sudo mysql-u root-p, exactly like that, then hit enter, then enter your password. And then at this point, you gotta do exactly what I say. You're gonna type create database, all in caps, and then WP data. WP data is not in caps. Then you're gonna add a semicolon. Type the command in exactly like that. And enter. If it's all good, it should say query okay. And then you're gonna type grant all privileges on WP data dot asterisk to WP user at local host ident Fide by, and then this is where you need to have a good password. So you give any example. So capital letters, lowercase letters, special characters, and numbers. In fact, I'd even strongly suggest going a step further than this and just like using a random password generated by a password manager, if you know what I mean. Then I'm gonna add a semicolon. So I type that command in exactly like that, except that you'd set your own password. Then hit enter. And if it's all good, it should say query okay. And at this point, just hit exit. You don't need to capitalize this one. Then you'll be back into the regular terminal. So then you're gonna go into our website directory. So then you're gonna type cd slash var slash www slash html. Then hit enter. Now you're in our website directory. So now you're gonna download WordPress. So then you're gonna type sudo wget wordpress.org slash latest dot tar dot gz. Then hit enter. And we'll go ahead and download WordPress. Okay, so now we're gonna extract the WordPress file that we just downloaded. To that, you're gonna type sudo tar dash xvf latest dot tar dot gz, then hit enter. So now to make the website files readable and writable by WordPress, I'm gonna type sudo chmod 777 dash capital R, has to be a capital R, dot, then hit enter. It's all good, it shouldn't return anything. So if you don't do this, you will have trouble editing the website. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is type sudo nano, then hit enter. And I'm gonna set it up to redirect to your WordPress page. Otherwise, it'll just show the default page. And you're just gonna copy this code, which I'll have in the description. It's just a little piece of code. Then you can paste it in here, type control shift V, and make sure to replace your server's IP address with your server's actual IP address. So think of that. And then hit control X, hit Y, and then type index.html exactly like that then hit enter if you did it right it should say that it exists and then you're gonna hit y by the way one command that we forgot to run is sudo system ctl restart v sftpd just to apply our configuration so what we're gonna want to do is open up your web browser and go to your website and if you did this right it should bring you to this page and then you're gonna click let's go in database name you're gonna type wp data and then our username is wp user and your password is hopefully a super strong password and then just leave the rest the same and then you're gonna hit submit and if you did everything right, you should see this screen. Then you're gonna click run the installation. And then you can title the site whatever you want. You can change it later. I'm gonna call it Drew on tech. Okay, then username is just Drew. Has the same restrictions as Ubuntu does. Your password you can use if you want for this password, save it in your password manager, but I'm gonna use a different password. Of course, I'm not gonna show you what it is. And then you're gonna need to type in your email. Okay, and then make sure to double check it before continuing. And then once you've verified everything's correct, then you're gonna hit install WordPress. And if you did everything right, you should see this screen. Then you're gonna hit login. Then type in your username and password that you just set. And then you can just check off remember me. Then hit login. So now what you're gonna do is install any updates. Just select all these and then click update plugins. And then your host name is just your server's IP address. And then just enter your username and password that you use on the server. 
and then click proceed. And if you configured your VSFTPD package correctly, you should see this message. Now you got your website all set up. Now it's just a matter of playing around with this, see what features you have. And then you can go and visit your site, and then there you go. That's the default website for WordPress. By the way, now if someone goes to your website, they'll get redirected to the WordPress directory, and then they'll see your website, except for this top bar. By the way, the last thing you might want to do is reboot your server. So sudo shut down now dash r. By the way, if you want it to stay off to move it, for example, just type sudo shut down now without the dash r. But that is how you set up a home WordPress site with the Ubuntu server. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.